Hi everyone, we are prepping for a hurricane burrow that's headed our way. If you're interested in seeing how we prep our backyard for this hurricane, just keep on watching. So before we get into the hurricane prep, let's talk about my new outdoor storage bench from Patio Well. This portion of the video is sponsored by Patio Well. I have this new outdoor bench that came packaged for well. It had about six pieces and a hardware was also included. All you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver to put the bench together. Once we had all the pieces together, we had to secure it with screws. As you can see, my grandson Rylan wanted to help his papa put the bench together. So we have the bench all put together and we are actually in the midst of preparing for a hurricane that's supposed to be hitting Houston on Monday. So I, my original plan was to show you all how the bench storage bench would be set up with my backyard all decorated. But I have a change of plans. What I'm going to do is show you how we're going to strap our stuff down. Well, we've already started. I've already took my drapes down. And my husband is over strapping some things down for the storm that's coming. So I'll show you how we're going to prep the backyard for the storm. So if I wanted to style the bench, I can use my orange pillows, which is the color that I'm using out here or I can even use my black and silver pillows. So let me show you how the bench would look with the black and silver pillows. So that is super, super cute. I love that. And just imagine if I had my deck all set up, how pretty that would be in my space. So I'm gonna leave the link down below to the bench, to the storage bench, just in case someone's interested and let me go ahead and show you guys what else we're doing in the backyard for our hurricane prep so as you can see I've already taken my drapes down and me having the drapes down you can see why I use those privacy drapes it just gives my deck area a much more serene look with the privacy drapes there in regards to the neighbor's yard and so what we've done is we've took the two side chairs and we put them on top of the sofa and we have the cushions there and for what my husband has done is he used some neckties here or zip ties and he zip tied the chairs to the actual sofa itself and that's done on both sides and throughout. You can see the zip tie back there. And then he was actually going to put another zip tie over here. And so I have my bar stools here. And um, we're going to use these straps here just to secure everything together. So when the wind comes from the storm, everything will be secure and won't be blown out over the yard as it was in that unexpected tornado storm that we had here in Houston a few weeks ago. I tell you, my pillow covers were all over the yard. I mean, my drapes, my drapes were like torn apart. The bottom of my drapes, you know, have those rocks at the bottom. They were, the, the rock section was torn away from the drapes. Just so happened I had extra drapes, so... And I also kind of rigged them up to where I can still use them. And then I also had a crack in my, my glass protector. I've already moved that in the house. There's a little crack from uh, something that hit my glass. You know, the fire protector, the wind protector that goes around the fire pit. So, yes. So we're getting ready for the hurricane that's coming here in the Houston area. And so we're also going to move these chairs over there as well. My husband just took a little break and he'll be right back out. But I'm going to go ahead and put my pillows back. I have my pillows stored over here in this egg chair. You can see. Let me show you here. Let me unzip it. So this is where my pillows are going to be stored throughout the storm. So while I'm waiting for my husband to come back out, 
let me show you what's going on over here with the pool so we had some heavy rain yesterday don't know where it came from because um the meteorologist didn't say anything about rain so when it rains my pool cover gets full of the water so i'm getting ready to drain this water off the pool and the last video i shown you all i did not have any grass out here look how pretty it is I love beautiful landscaping, beautiful grass. Um, and I also added this little area here. I need to add some more white rocks to the area. But overall, you get the picture of how beautiful this would look if it had extra rocks in here. It's already beautiful, but it would be so much beautiful with the extra rocks. So out here... Um, we're going to get out here to start covering things up as well. So you can see how the yard, how beautiful it looks with the grass. I'm going to try to put a picture of how it looked prior to us adding the grass. This grass has been down for a, maybe a, okay, this is July. This grass has been down since May and it looks very, very pretty. And I am loving how beautiful this grass looks. So we're going to go ahead and um, get back at our hurricane, hurricane, <laughs> backyard hurricane, tropical storm, burrow preparation. So now we're moved out here to uh, the gazebo area and I think he's going to strap these egg chairs together. Not sure what he's going to do with the rest of this stuff. So I'll just come back and show y'all what he's done after he's done it. So we have these two egg chairs together. We took all the pillows off the sectional and put them in the egg chairs. We're going to zip tie the egg chairs together. And I'm thinking we're going to take these, the sectional pieces, and the ladder, and um, maybe putting it in between the house, that little section over there. That's what I think we may do. Okay, love, so I'm here. As I enter my back patio, this is what we've done so far for the hurricane prep. Okay, love, so it started to rain, so I had to pause for a minute, but it stopped. And so, again, this is what we've done to our outdoor space in prep for tropical storm or hurricane burrow. Not sure which is going to be by the time it hit us. So I'm going to leave my bar area here because it's pretty heavy. And we don't get any wind over here because the po the house over here is blocking the wind from getting here. Now where I do get wind at is over here. Because as you can see, it's an open space and I get a lot of wind over here. Oh, did y'all see that lightning? Oh my goodness, I need to get inside. So things are already wet. So we know things are going to get wet, but we we don't want things to be blown around during the storm. So we have them zip tied down for one or necktie, whatever they're called with the white and the red straps. And then we have them secure it with the orange strap around here and everything is compacted together. So nothing should move here. And um, so this is how everything is here. I have my umbrella base here and it's tucked underneath the railing. And I have the umbrella itself underneath all the furniture that's my egg chair my reclining chair so yes this is all the items that we have here and if you recall if I stand back you know I used to have my curtains I've already taken my curtains down we've covered up the TV and I've moved my dining table 
to this area here and I have my outdoor mirror secured behind the table. And my new outdoor bench here, storage bench, I have it secured to that rail there. I have all my florals over here, which will be fine. I don't get any wind over on this area, which is why I took all the items from my gazebo area and secured them over here because we don't get any wind back over in this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk out this way. Y'all hear that thunder? I need to hear up and get my behind back in the house. But you can see here how we have this area secured. And then I'm gonna show you the barbecue grill area, how it's secured. We can't do anything with the pool at all during the storm except for cover it. And this is my gazebo area here. So what we did is we have the egg chairs zip tied together and it's hollow. So, you know, we probably want to come out here and put a couple ties onto the egg chairs to the gazebo. Probably want to do that because my gazebo is actually anchored down. My husband has them anchored down. We're going to leave that water fountain there it never budges during a storm. So we're gonna leave that there. And my husband's barbecue gazebo is actually bolted down. So that's fine. And you can see all the items that we have tucked in that little cuddly area over there. So this is what we've done out here. Now let me tell you, whenever we get a lot of rain, we get high water back in this area. So one of my goals is to put some sand back here to raise it up so we won't get very high, that much high water. We do get high water back here, but since we've added the sod to this area, I'm gonna put a clip of the video here so you can see how this area looked. We just recently added this sod here during spring. It was nothing here, it was horrible. And it's so pretty now. I love some pretty grass. But um, yeah, so I'll place a video so you can see how it looked before and you can see how it looked for now. Now my stairs, we had them custom built for my pool. So they're gonna stay up here and um, yes. So this is what we've done to prepare for, to prepare for the tropical storm or hurricane barrel that's coming to the Houston area.